Can a surgical technique be a risk for post-tonsillectomy hemorrhage? Our point of view, adenotonsillar disease and the surgical treatments required still raise concerns, leading to the formulation of several guidelines, particularly in relation to potential post-operative complications. Studies in literature present no uniform results regarding the general frequency of post-tonsillectomy hemorrhage and the possible relationship between the type of surgical technique and the rate of hemorrhagic complications. Post-tonsillectomy bleeding is one of the most feared complications. It often causes medical legal disputes. This study has set out to verify the frequency of post-tonsillectomy hemorrhagic complications reported in recent studies, and the possible differences in the rate of post-tonsillectomy hemorrhage. Cold dissection with cold hemostasis. Cold dissection with hot hemostasis. Hot dissection with hot hemostasis. Those three commonly used techniques were analyzed in relation to the percentage of post-surgical hemorrhage. The pictures here show typical instruments for cold tonsil surgery and diathermy hot tonsil surgery. Statistical comparison did not show significant differences between the frequency of post-tonsillectomy primary, secondary and total hemorrhage in relation to the surgical techniques. The onset of tonsillar hemorrhage can be conditioned, regardless of the technique, to the other factors, among which in our opinion. The most important are the experience in the ability of the surgeon, 